Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm going to do a little Leo recap today. I'm trying to do them daily again. We got some great videos to look at today. We got some pretty good stories to talk about, so let's get to it. The first story that I want to talk about today is in Seattle, where two Seattle police officers are suing a councilwoman over some mean things that she said. Some very slanderous things that she probably shouldn't have let come out of her mouth. According to reports, this councilwoman publicly called two police officers racist murderers. The officers requested that she retract her statement and she wouldn't even reply to them. The comments made by the councilwoman come from the 2016 shooting of Che Taylor. Reports state that Taylor had just been released from a 23-year sentence for a home invasion and rape and was the active suspect in a murder where the victim had been beaten to death with a hammer. Officers who were staking out a location that Che was at saw that he had a gun on his hip. They could clearly see it. The officers called in some backup units. They waited for them to arrive, and then they moved in to arrest Che. The officer's statements in the courtroom said that he originally complied with the orders, but as he was going down, he crouched suddenly, put his hand on his hip, and they could see his elbow go into the air. Both officers were not taking any chances with someone who had committed home invasion, rape, and possibly beat somebody to death with a hammer who was not supposed to be carrying a firearm. Both officers fired, one fired with a rifle, one fired with a shotgun, and they killed Che. According to the councilwoman, though, the officers just shot him because he was black. The next video that we're going to take a look at is an incident that took place on July 19th of this year in Michigan. Two Saginaw Township police officers had pulled over a man named Farhad Jabari who was supposedly drunk. The officers did a field sobriety test on Jabari. He failed miserably, so they put him in the back of the patrol car. While he was in the back of the patrol car and the officer was filling out paperwork, he slipped out of one of his handcuffs and got his hands free. As soon as the officer goes around to the driver's side of the car, Jabari starts fighting with him and gouges his eyes. The officer on the driver's side, who was having his eyes gouged, pulled his gun out and fired several shots. Unfortunately, the officer who is on the passenger side is in a little bit of crossfire and he gets hit in the arm. The suspect died and both officers went to the hospital where they were checked out and released later that day. The final video, the grand finale, everyone's probably already seen it. It's been all over Twitter, Facebook, every social media outlet you can think of. This is a video of a very, very special young man. Before we get into the video, let's talk about what led up to this whole thing. There was a Trump rally in Phoenix last night. Of course, there's going to be protesters anywhere Donald Trump is. There were some fights. There were some throwing shit at officers. And when the Trump rally was going to let out, the officers could barely get the protesters cleared out. Police officers asked them several times to leave, told them they were going to shoot tear gas. And when the protesters refused to leave, tear gas was dispersed. Of course, some protesters are showing up now with gas masks to intentionally not follow lawful orders. This young man... God bless his soul, decided it would be a good idea to kick a tear gas canister back at the police. Now, we don't know if this was intentional or not, but if you're going to kick a tear gas canister back at police, it's probably not going to end well for you. Backing up, but still facing uh, that line of officers in defiance. You, you just saw one of the protesters go up there and actually yeah, kick a can of that. Yeah, there's some are kicking oh, all the it wasn't in the nuts. And a guy just got shot <laughs> with a rubber bullet. I got that guy that you're looking at right now just got hit with what I think is with a rubber bullet. He was oh. hurt. God. That's right, folks. He was shot directly in the wobbly bits. One last thing before I jump off here. I just want to say congratulations to Ethan and Hila of H3H3 for winning your lawsuit. In case you guys didn't know, they were in a little bit of legal trouble. Some douchebag was suing them over some videos that they made fun of of his. Hopefully we can get Ethan and Hila back on stream again soon and play some more Battlegrounds with me. Well, everyone, that wraps up the Leo recap for today. I'm going to be streaming on twitch.tv slash donut operator at around 930. We're going to play some video games. We're going to hang out. We're going to talk a little bit. It's going to be a good time. Everyone, please have a fantastic. Everyone, please have a fantastic Wednesday.